this is going to be a restart. Little pop of smoke from Kevin Leung as they come up towards the final turn. Our bend can Wang Wan Long stay close to the back of Kevin Leung. No, he's gone, he's gone. And the green flag is waved. So already a gap for the race leader. Fantastic when he puts the power down and is able to pull away as he did on that uh, rather brave manoeuvre to take the lead initially. See the cars bouncing over those bumps on these normal everyday roads that become the gear circuit once a year. And we now have five laps in the book, five laps completed out of eight and three laps to go as they break for Lisboa, Lisboa Hotel, just uh, out of camera shot there, onto San Francisco, accelerating up the hill. Chan Chi Ha, that was, from Macau in the number 25 car. Very colourful. Can't really describe what colour the car is. It's got just about every colour of the rainbow on it, but uh, all goes together to make a, a very, very striking livery on that car up towards Teddy Yip, concentrating very hard on the mirrors at the moment on the restart, the number eight car of Wong Kar Hong, very, very close indeed. Great little battle that is for the final step on the podium. There will be podiums for our qualification races. There will be a certain amount of differences to uh, a normal podium that we would have. I think we'll be without champagne this year, not surprisingly, and potentially without the winner's garlands as well. Looking at Wong Wan Long in second place in the number one car and keeping himself pretty busy at the moment with the 25 car right behind of Chan Chi Ha. So we head up towards the Melco airpin. Everybody wants to be second or Queuing up behind Wong Wan Long, just needs to keep it very neat and tidy as he accelerates down from the Melco hairpin down towards Fisherman's. They're going to be completing five laps at the end of this, and this battle is properly on, isn't it, for the second step of the podium with Wong Ka Hong really putting the pressure on now to the number one car of Wong Wan Long. The two come through together as one and they deal with the final corner, our bend and complete now six laps across the line Chan Chi Ha in third place putting all of that pressure on the back of Wan Wan Long and the number 25 car has done well to get past Wan Ka Hong for the final podium position but it might be another podium position because now really challenging for second place on the podium. Rui Valent is on the march upwards as well. So is Ibun Ho in eighth place down through Lisboa. Couple of laps, including this one that they're on, left to do this in, but it is doable. And through they come, second place Wang Wan Long, third place Chan Chi Ha, fourth place Wong Ka Hong, Geronimo Badaraco in fifth place, and Chan Wen Tong completes the top six. This is the penultimate lap with one safety car intervention. Number one, Wong Wan Long, and Chan Chi Ha in the multi colored number 25 car. Oh, 72 has gone off that Lam Hong Phi and he's just uh, trying to get the car going again, leaning down to the left hand side of the driving position to hopefully get that car fired up and on its way. Number eight car there in fourth place looking at the final podium position. To looking now at it fading away a little with a bit of a gap. The yellow flags, stationary yellow flags, don't worry about those. They are there throughout the weekend. 
just to indicate no overtaking into the Melco hairpin. Meanwhile, the race leader will be almost coming up towards the final lap. Third sector is complete. It's the race leader who has the fastest lap of the race. This is the battle for fifth place with Geronimo Badaracco leading around Fisherman's. And then this battle for the final podium position comes to grief. And the two of them make contact. The number eight car goes off down the escape road at Lisboa. And that's how close the battle was getting for the final podium position. Here they go. It's uh, Wong just in front, gets the nudge from the 25 car of Chan Chi Ha. And off down the escape road, the car goes. He's not going to be happy about that, is he? Absolutely no chance. And unfortunately, the number eight car of Wong Ka Hong not getting the best of that very, very close battle. This is the race leader. That is the second place car. And so therefore, we have a battle on for the lead of the race. That gap has come right down. Kevin Leung leading the race, twisting through this section down towards Teddy Ip. And what happened to that gap between the two of them? It was one and a half seconds at the end of the penultimate lap. Kelvin Leung leads the race and presses on. But uh, Kelvin at the moment has the better of Wong Wan Long. But that gap had come right down, hadn't it? The car seems back on pace now as he turns into police up towards the right-hander at Moorish. And still in the same shot is the number one car. Was 1.6 seconds behind and goes through. So the number one car goes through. Wong Wan Long. There was a problem for Kelvin Leung. And the car slows. This is your race leader on the final lap of this qualification race. All on his own, the number one car. Wong Wan Long. And Kelvin Leung has now, unfortunately, stopped by the side of the road. I had a feeling there might have been something wrong with the car to have allowed that huge gap that the car had at the front of the field to have closed down as significantly as it had. But then for the car to completely stop, very surprising indeed. This is your new race leader, Wong Wan Long. Got a, a very, very impressive start. He did in the number one car. And that is our first winner of the weekend at Macau, Wong Wan Long. The number one car, the Mitsubishi Evo 10, takes the first chequered flag of the weekend. And drama already at Macau as the race long leader, Kelvin Learn, Learn, Yan Weng in the thus far perfectly performing Mitsubishi Evo 9 had to pull off on the final lap and allow